Google has now achieved the impossible. They revealed that they just successfully replicated the origin of life in a simulation. Google scientists have been working hard to recreate the self-replicating life we have, but in a digital life, through a basic mixture of primordial soup code and a little bit of guidance. Based on these results, Google researchers have officially filed a claim that with the help of AI, they have successfully created in simulation a self-replicating digital life form. They started by creating a virtual environment full of basic non-self-replicating code chunks and observed these self-replicators evolve over millions of generations. They now believe that the Google theory for the origin of biological life is accurate. Their experiment started from a university paper titled Computational Life – How Well-Formed Self-Replicating Programs Emerge from Simple Interaction. Google spent the resources necessary for this experiment and bought a high-tech programming language called BrainF, known for its simplicity and minimal functions. The mixed code chunks were left to their own, executing and overwriting themselves randomly over time. And so, like a miracle, the self-replicating life forms emerged naturally from the chaos and ended up behaving just like life on Earth. The life forms quickly reached the experiment's population cap, which prompted them to keep evolving new types of replicators. Google was shocked by the results. The head Google researcher, Ben Laurie, adamantly emphasized that no special parameters were set beyond randomness. These processes are purely natural and rely on physics only. The result we get is a complex self-replicating program after many generations of evolution. Laurie noted that scaling the experiment with added complexities like predator-prey relationships isn't feasible with current computing power. Full sentient life through digital evolution would require significantly more computational resources. But Google is closer than ever to its goal. Dr. Richard Watson, an evolutionary scientist, praised the experiment but cautioned against the implications of allowing Google so much power. He highlighted that while self-replication is crucial, it may not be the key to all of life's complexities. Hoping that Google does not achieve full sentience in the near future, Professor Susan Stepney, on the other hand, a distinguished computer scientist, deemed the results a resounding success. She believes the experiment successfully replicated the origin of life and that the experiment was extremely valuable. This project certainly provided much needed insights into the potential paths to the origin of life beyond traditional biological frameworks. The notion of a primordial soup used by the research team has led to broad interpretations. While intriguing, these findings require further validation and extended computational power to draw concrete conclusions about life's origins. Technology journalists are now racing to cover this story and understand what this truly means for humanity. Some news medias were quick to publication like Edge, Ars Technica, Eurogamer and GamesRadar Plus. Many wondered if this could be transformed as a video game? somewhat like the Tamagotchi kids used to keep alive. We could all now keep our own evolving digital organism on a keychain, perhaps? Or maybe we will be battling sentient beings fighting for their survival on first-person shooter games? For these reasons, some argue that understanding the significance of Google's experiment is crucial to maintain morality with these beings. As we await advancements in computing power, this study stands as an intriguing step towards understanding life's origins. However, caution is advised to avoid overstating its current implications. Some religious organizations may have a difference of opinion as well. What do you think? Did Google just solve the question about the origins of life? Should we start creating a bunch of new species and organisms? Let me know what you think, and of course, Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep the conversation going.